Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practice and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never wanna leave my home. Stay in the sheets, sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use. Use Lancome, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. I know you got the shit. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove
So, of Lord Perfected Work, I'm back. Y'all, y'all thought I wasn't coming, but I came. <laughs> I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia, and you're watching another episode of Lord Perfected Work. Hold up, let me get it. Okay. <laughs> 
you watched another episode of Lord Perfected Word. Y'all like this look? Oh shit. Jeez, lady. <laughs> Alright, so welcome back, y'all. Today's episode is called Lord of Material Happiness. So I'm so happy to be back here with y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Shit is great. Shit is love. Y'all seen the website at the top of the screen? This is my official website. And I would very much like it if y'all went and visited the website whenever you get a chance. Or you can visit it now while you're watching this live stream and check it out. You know, my music is on there. Got a couple stores on there. I got 1111 store on there. I got a little unicorn next to it. And I got Tefnet Archive on there. Everything on that website, 50% off. Also, if you are watching this from outside of Twitch, please make a Twitch account. Please make a Twitch account. Subscribe to your boy's channel. If you got Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to the channel at tier one for free for a month. Okay? So take advantage of that because as the channel grows and the, the more that this channel grows, the better the information I'm going to bring to this channel, the, the, the content that I have on this channel, the creativity that I provide to this channel, as well as information that you actually can use towards your life. Y'all giving me a chance to put all my energy and creativity into these projects so that y'all can have great, great content to view and your free time. All right, see, the door closed on its own. So it's go time. All right, so Lord of Material Happiness is today is today's stream title. And basically, um, the Lord of Material Happiness is actually the name of the Nine of Cups card in Tarot, which I'm going to speak about this on a not so esoteric level but more on a humane level of understanding. Not saying that y'all can't overstand it, but you know, I wanna walk y'all through the meadow with me. We walking down the moonlit path together to our greatest desires and wishes. So, Lord of Material Happiness. Today I was, uh, I was reading the Bible and you know, I got some pretty good messages out of it. Uh, this Bible that I was reading out of is actually from my childhood. I got this Bible in 1997 and it's 2021. So I let y'all do the math. But um, inside of it, it has scriptures for each day of the year. So I read the scriptures for today. So I'm not going to read them out loud to y'all. But if you're interested in any spiritual scripture, because I talk about all spiritual scriptures on this channel, because everybody has their own form of enlightenment that specifically uh, works for them. I myself would recommend that you at least read all spiritual texts to understand what Nirvana is, what enlightenment is, what vibration is, what light is, all these things. So the first one was Isaiah 8 through 10. Second one is Esther 5 through 6. The third one is John 2. And the last one was Luke 6. Now, I read these scriptures today, y'all, and they trippy as fuck because they literally go along with the nine with this nine of cups card. Now y'all like, how the fuck this nigga use tarot and the Bible in the same senses? Cause I'm Lord Shoe X. I'm not defined by anything. My, y'all heard the codes yesterday when y'all was watching me explain what keys to the island is. See, I do have a spiritual father and a spiritual mother, okay? And I know them very well. And because of them, I have found my peace. And I understand what my purpose is. 
And that's why I'm here to help you with that same shit. Whether you want to believe in what I'm telling you or not, just know that I have no ill intention. When I do these streams, this is a, a stream of consciousness. And I follow Christ consciousness, okay? So that means the streams of information y'all are receiving from me is based in the, the uh, Christ consciousness grid. And I've been to the chakras of the earth, the ones that I can reach where I'm at, you know, digging deep into the foundations of what it means to be a person. And also I've had conversations with 1111, like always about being a human and what it really means to have material happiness, not just money and uh, getting pussy all the time and getting mouth all the time, but Real material happiness. I mean, those are forms of material happiness also, you know? But real material happiness is being able to let the flow, the, the, the consciousness of the universe, or in my case, Yahweh, to let that flow through me, to be able to express. See, for the longest time, my will is disconnected. And I'm not going to sit here and say that this is something that I just found out, you know, years ago. But this is something I found out recently. By just not living wholly through my own principles. But also aligning with the true principles of the universe. And it's fucked with several parts of my own family, my own bloodline. And now I'm being faced with decisions within myself of which path to take, which way to go in healing myself to where I am healing my DNA for generations to come and healing my family so that the, the DNA that they have coming forward in our future is also healed. But it starts with individuals who have that consciousness, who truly have that consciousness. See, there's people who will align with certain energies and they will start to take away from what you're doing because they want to see you go in a certain direction that they feel is right for you. But see, with each individual, even Jesus in the Bible, and these scriptures that if you decide to read them, even Jesus in the Bible did not listen to the laws in place. See, he overrode that shit. That's why whenever I used to talk to my aunt when I first left Atlanta in 2017, you know, I had a, a lot of a lot of emotional issues and trauma I was dealing with. So when I left Atlanta, I came back and I spoke with her and we had like a family trip in Florida and I was telling her that Jesus was a fire ass programmer. Like he programmed himself to override the law of himself. See, he knows what, what the, the law was. But see, it's no different in Thoth. Thoth did the same shit in the Emerald Tablets. See, I've read these scriptures all the way through. And there's a lot of similarities to Thoth and Jesus. See, I won't say that they're the same person. But I will say this. Christ consciousness is something that all people can tap into. Consciousness in general is something that all of us already innately have flowing through us. When when that conscious kicks in, when something don't feel right, and the intuition within you starts to work in your favor, that's you connecting with that shit. When you still the mind, you're literally speaking to consciousness. When you pray, you're literally speaking to consciousness. You're talking. You're speaking to yourself. You're programming yourself. So you must clear the mind first, and then you must send it, the energetic signature. Now, Nine of Cups. How does this go with all of this? Well, let's see. This card represents fulfillment. Fulfillment in yourself and one can only truly experience fulfillment by surrendering 
See, when you put towards all the effort to try and do something, and it may be even out of alignment, which makes it makes it even worse. But it's just like watching a clock. When you ready, when you ready for it to be a certain time. Remember when you used to be in school, right? And you wanted to be 2.30 so bad. That was the time that I got out of school was at 2.30. So I used to just watch the clock all day. And I swear it felt like the whole day went by in two to three days instead of it just being eight hours. See, you watching the clock, not even realizing that you slowing yourself down. By being present, instead of wishing on the future, you end up you end up making it making your future seem even more far far away than what it really is. So let me fix this real quick. Gotta make sure my shit right. So with this nine of cups, nine, we all know nine is a divine number. Cups represent water or the emotions. In the alchemical sense, water is wisdom, very deep, ancient wisdom. And you're made of water. This ancient wisdom is within you already. You 70% 70, 70 made of intuition. When you think about it like that, it kind of makes you wonder, how much of myself have I not tapped into? How much of myself am I holding myself back from learning and understanding? See, what I learned with emotional intelligence is that not having emotional intelligence actually keeps you back from figuring out who you are completely, what your path is completely, what you're meant to do, what your heart truly sings for. Because you're not able to discern between all these emotions and how to get back to that fulfillment of self. Which is why I made self one of my principles. Because in order to truly become universal, you got to start with yourself first. You got to know yourself so that you're able to help other people understand themselves through your actions. Now these nine cups, nine being the final numeric. See, I know people will be like, well, what about 10, 11, 12, 13? All this is is the number starting over. And now you're creating a new language. See, these numbers are just a language, and they're really a simple language. Zero through nine. The understanding. See, in the 5% nation and the 7% nation, they taught about the zero through nine. And I'm going to just leave it at that because the 5% and the 7% nation are also known as terrorist groups <laughs> by the federal government. So, but their teachings actually are very helpful. See, they look at life like we got 95% of people who don't listen to their intuition in themselves. And then we have 5% of people who are the poor righteous teachers. And the poor righteous teachers are what you would consider people who are conscious of all the shit that's going on behind the 95% people back. And then there's the 1%. The people who... Basically, it could go either way. You have a people who make a decision. What might seem to us might seem bad or might seem good. But see, it's all in the perspective of how you view your reality. See, the 1% could actually be somebody great. And because they have a wider view or a wider consciousness or understanding or overstanding of this reality over us, they might be calling the shots a certain way for a type of reason. And always remember, everything... I've always said this, everything is a tool, okay? So what you might think, why why is this happening to us, source, universe, why is this happening to us? Remember, if consciousness flows through all things, no one can be blocked off from it. 
especially people who use different tools of spirituality, different tools of the universe. All people are connected through this, okay? So always understand that. Yeah, these people might be doing certain things, but there's always a hand that moves the tool, okay? Never give these people power because that's where you lose your power. The real power is the shit that flows through all of us. The real shit that flows through all of us. That energy is divine, which is why we talking about the nine of cups. So divine control. Now, this is a this is a minor arcana. Okay? You got minor arcana, court cards, major arcana. These are in the numbers 0 through 10. Really 1 through 10. But see how it starts? 1 through 10. If it started 0 through 9, then that's what the cards would be. So I just look at this as the end. Anything over 10 or anything over 9 is excess, lust, gluttony. So 9 of Cups, divine alignment with the emotions. But this is what you're doing. See, the major arcana is the control. That's when source is controlling. When nine, when you get a minor arcana, that's what your daily, day-to-day, -day, what you're doing through your energy. So nine of cups. That being deep wisdom. Because remember, they've only discovered, according to what they tell us in the news and on the, on the history websites, they've only discovered 5% of the bodies of water of the earth. They've only, well, they've only explored 5% of the information in the bodies of water on this earth. That's 95% of the water, the ocean that hasn't been explored. You know how much information and times and history have been washed away by these waters that are surrounding these continents. Gotta think it rains and our bodies are still buried in this planet. Our, our previous bodies, for those who've lived several times, these previous bodies are still here, okay? That means when you breathe, because remember, the, the process, condensation, precipitation, all of this shit, you know the process. Evaporation. We breathe in ourselves. We're living ourselves. This shit is never ending. So, nine of cups. The material happiness comes from aligning with that wisdom, that emotion within to understand what it's telling you. And we all know that the greatest emotion is love, right? All the other emotions are the are the you know the ghetto cousins that are trying to get back to love. See, only reason other emotions even exist, only reason other angels exist, only reason Saints and all these other things exist is because of people subscribing to this shit. We already had our original angels here. The earth, the sun, the moon, the stars, the rivers, all these angels of nature surrounding us. These are the true angels. But see, when a new angel is when, when you start to break down angels, oh, well, no, nah, that's a rock. Oh, well, no, nah, that's a that's a this, that's a that. Now you're breaking down all these angels into more angels. Same thing with people. You start to give people uh, titles and shit like that. That's why you got Lord. That's why you got King. See, all these angels being created by people subscribing to because of what these people or their prominence or their their reputation has given off and because people always aspire to things other than what they should be aspiring to which is the the hand that holds the tool see we got all these tools right yeah they're here for us but remember who's holding this tool to inspire you, the inspiration. See, all these times, all these years, 
all these things around us show us what fulfillment look like but it's because that particular being aligned with that energy aligned with the real consciousness being aware of all the things within themselves that's all nine of cups is saying be aware with all the things within yourself and realize how much prominence and inspiration from the inspiration that you'll you'll be inspiring others to have. Because source can only work through to provide that inspiration. For one, to become inspired, to inspire. See, this is not no, oh, I'm just I'm just that nigga. Yeah, you might feel that way, but you are that nigga because source is flowing through you to be that nigga. Oh, I'm the shit. Yeah, because source is flowing through you so you can be the shit. But always know that when you get to a certain level of high vibration, you attract all things. Yeah, you will attract abundance. Yeah, you will attract all your greatest desires and dreams and all the things that come with that shit. But it takes one who truly knows themselves to be able to walk through the bullshit and come out on the other end unscathed having real faith having real power see that type of inspiration is what we need right now someone afraid many people afraid of the inspiration because to not have that inspiration is why we're in this predicament that we're in now you don't want to lose that feeling. And it's easy to lose it because there's so many distractions and illusions. I always come back to this shit. It's easy to be distracted because you're supposed to be distracted. It's no different than a girlfriend having her homegirls test your faith, bro. It's no different. That shit has happened to me before. Girls will send their homegirls to try and talk to me and to see if I'm a crack. As ignorant as that shit is, it's no different. Because one, source flows through all of us. Where you think that idea even came from? If no, if if the shit didn't want to be experienced, it wouldn't be experienced. And everything must be experienced. Cause all this all this this information, it's a gigantic brain. It wants to know just as much as I, you, and everyone else wants to know. But see, that's the thing. There was always a zero and then a number one. Yeah, we're all those new numbers that I was talking about earlier. And we just knew like we're a new language of what source is. But always know that if, if that's the case, right, and we're all assigned our number, and we all, and, and people in the spiritual community know this number. Are we truly living by that? Are we truly living by that language? Because people, people will be quick to go to all these, these tools. But you know these tools are, are to bring you back to that source. To bring you back to that oneness. To bring you back to the zero and the one. The framer and the shaper, okay? Okay. Zero one. Why you think binary is so important? They're, they don't use two in computer language. If they doing this for a fun, if they doing this because they they uh, putting it in the language inside of it to create a function. But as far as code, pure code, it's only zeros and one. See, always remember who's moving the tool, man. That's the most important shit Because you'll never find fulfillment if you don't Because you'll always be looking for something Through something else that's not the hand You'll be looking through a fucking tool And then you too don't even realize that you're a tool as well So you can use yourself You know that your body's a divination tool You're a tarot card You're a rune all these are angels that we're using. Crystals are angels. Rocks are angels. Grass, all this shit are angels. We using Hollywood to burn. That's an angel. Okay? See, 
All these concepts knew that shit. All these different spiritual systems knew that shit. Now, how we got lost along the way is because we started fucking with the idols over the fucking energy that controls this shit. We stopped acknowledging that energy and we started putting more faith in these tools. We start putting more faith in all the tools, even the angels. See, if we gonna go back to nature, we gotta go back to the source of nature, okay? All these, all these beings out here, guy. Look, the unknown name is on everything out here. All you gotta do is look at how all everything is formed. Everything, how everything is formed out here. Look at your veins. What what word do they form? What shape do they form? Look at the look at the sprawls on your hand. These lines on your hand. What what letter what what's the main letter you see here? See all this shit might be a game to people to learn how to understand, but this is how the universe speaks through us, through us just observing self, through us observing self. Are we able to observe above? Cause that's the universal law as above, so below. Everything corresponds with the other because all is one. Okay. Remember, we just talked about zero and one, right? If all is one and the one comes from the void. And we're always, I always say it my principle to always remain in the void. Always stay, stay inside the womb of the great mother. And be shaped by the great father. And you'll start to realize where fulfillment really lies within yourself through your personal journey. There can't be no special catered anything. You know you're supposed to fuck with nature. Because nature gave everything to us. So, nine of cups, material happiness. What does that mean? What is material happiness? Well, one, happiness. Joy. Joy is actually a higher vibration than love. See, enlightenment, nirvana, all this shit, that's right above joy. That's the final frontier. Like when they used to say on Star Trek, the final frontier. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. There's only so far that you can go in feeling that that true fulfillment. But see, that's the thing. You can just feel that shit automatically. Because that energy flows through you every day. All these energies flow through you. But having emotional intelligence, divinely got being divinely guided through your emotional t intelligence, you'll start to see, oh shit, I can choose, instead of just love, I can choose to go back to enlightenment. I can choose to redirect that, that feeling into enlightenment. Like it goes beyond even just love. Now I know how to use all these emotions to my advantage. That's what enlightenment is. You can use love, hate, jealousy. You can use all this shit, shame, guilt. But see, that's what the, that's what it takes through emotional intelligence. You have to you have to question yourself and everything. Why? Because remember, you are the Pokédex for Ash Ketchum. Okay. When Ash see a new Pokemon, what he do? He pull out the Pokédex. Okay? When Source when Source discovers a new concept, what he gonna pull out? The tools he got. He gonna pull out the rocks. He gonna pull out nature. He gonna pull out space. He gonna pull out all the shit that he done created to understand himself. Herself. Okay? Because both, both of these entities are of understanding wisdom beauty they they just they only want to know as much as you know because they on a never ending quest as well 
But for them, it's never ending for real. So you, you got to understand too. Well, shit. I'm stuck in this cycle. How can I get out? Well, I got to figure out everything through every every means possible. It's going to take you starting from the bottom. You got to... You got to crawl out of the shame all the way to enlightenment. You got to crawl your fucking way out. Slowly understanding each tier. Because some days it might feel a certain type of way. But. What the heck? (laughs) Somebody just threw a bag of chips in here. I was like, what's up? (laughs) <laughs> they just threw some chips in here Like here eat That was random as fuck <laughs> But yeah man We can work through Each of these tiers of emotions And going back to each of them To find our fulfillment of what What our heart really wants Cause the only way you'll know Is to know how you really feel And all these emotions Observing the thought, being the observer, the watcher of your own shit. And it sounds hard. It sounds hard, but it's really not. It's really not. You can't let you can't let your ego just be by itself. Cause there's a bigger ego than yours. <laughs> you align with that ego and you'll start to realize that y'all are one and the same. But it's a team effort. It'll be easier for you to move about in this world when you align with that energy. It's a million ways to do it because you're an individual. You can find your own way to align to this energy. No matter what, there's always a way. But it's gonna take you having to chill with yourself, man. What you call, what they call meditation? All right, whatever, I'm meditating. You can meditate if that's what if that's how you feel. Meditation is a way. You can meditate. But honestly, concentration. If meditating is a way to concentration, then cool. But concentration is the real shit. That's why in my book, Keys to the Island, that's what I speak about. And I give you all the shit that I did to, to gain concentration on the shit that I believe in and what I work towards in my life. I spent so many years writing this shit, decades, all this studying coming to fruition today. I'm 31 and this shit came to fruition today. And I knew what I wanted to do at five years old. I wanted to be a spiritual leader at five years old. But I knew that this journey was going to take a minute. For me to understand exactly what the fuck it is I'm supposed to do and exactly what the fuck it is I'm supposed to say. See, no matter what, I'm creating a new wave. But y'all could do the same shit too. All these shit around you is tools. Opportunities. Granted, I always see the human in people, but... They're still tools. They're still a means for you to grow. You don't have to use them. But you can align with the shit that they're teaching you. Because every person will teach you a lesson. Even if you meet that person for five seconds. That's a lesson waiting to be learned. No matter what. Everybody is in your life for a reason. There is no coincidence. There's only consciousness. And consciousness flows through people. And what your vibration sends out, you get back. That goes for everything. If you send out a vibration to eat trash, and you ain't even thought about, or you ain't even like bought the shit, you're going to go get some trash. Somebody's going to bring some trash to you. It's just what it is. I know it sounds like something that's hard to push back or push away because... People feel like because you care about somebody or you love someone or you connected to them that you are, you have like, you owe something to them. No, 
you don't owe shit to anybody but yourself first, especially if you still working on yourself, okay? No matter what, you don't owe shit to nobody until you done healed yourself completely of all the shit that's, that's fucked up about you that you think is to yourself. If you don't think shit wrong with you, then you can go about your life, but you will see the consequences of your actions. It's just what it is. You will see what you what your causes, the effects that come from that shit. You will see that shit. It's just, it's what it is. Yin and yang energy always, that shit is in all of us, whether it be more, some more than others. See, our bodies are not perfect. Granted, it was created in perfection, but you got to think, in 2021, how much of the shit in America, I ain't even going to count European countries, but how much shit in America do you read the ingredients on that you eat? If if you follow my channel, more than likely, you probably read the shit that's on the side of the container. And if you don't, it's cool. I ain't judging you and I'm not knocking you for living your life as you want to live it. But... I'm going to just help raise some awareness and just let you know that there is shit that's being put in what we eating that is not serving your consciousness, let alone your fucking body. I'm off the body shit. Hell, I don't give a fuck about this body like that. I take care of it, of course, and I work out and I do all that shit. But as far as like identifying with this body like it is me, this is a tool. This is a tool for the little sperm inside of me that turned into a brain and a fucking brain stem to move and to exist and to be able to manifest the will of source and my will at the same time because remember aligning my consciousness and my ego to the bigger ego of the universe source will whatever the fuck y'all want to call it bro because i'm not gonna put shit on nothing you'll know who you really supposed to be following all right you really know what you suppose what the names of these beings are. If you really if you really align, you'll know that shit. So it don't even matter what I call it on here. Because the creator knows in my heart. The framer and the shaper knows in my heart that I know what the names are. And I'm always open for dialogue for people who got who have Twitch. That's why I always tell y'all, make a Twitch account, subscribe to my channel so that you can be in here with me so we can really have some real dialogue. It ain't even about followers and shit like that. We following each other back to the source. <laughs> That's why it needs to be a universal consciousness, all right? We following each other back to source. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay? Y'all know what the laws is. I don't got to sit here and tell you what it is. But it's a code. It's a code that I live by. And it's a code that you live by. Based in no right or wrong. But simply to live these principles will throw that whole shit in the trash. Right or wrong. All that shit is in the fucking toilet. Because at that point, the true actions that are divinely inspired will come to be and they will override all that bullshit okay because remember you are the tool if if you uh, if your consciousness is actually a tool for itself imagine that okay it also makes you think even more well if this body's a tool and i'm controlling it that means I can observe myself. That means I can observe myself outside of myself. The sperm, I can observe the what the sperm is thinking to control the tool. Because even the thoughts that you think are yours in your mind are truly not yours also. These thoughts, remember, we surrounded by many tourist fields. We surrounded by the Earth's tourist field, which receives all the tourist field of the people. We receive 
the tourist fields of all the the bodies around us, the planetary bodies, the stars, the water, everything. All this shit is is tourist fields. Okay? It's never ending information. Nine of cups, never ending wisdom. But to be divinely inspired while tapping into that tourist field energy. That's when the real fucking magic happens. That's when the real fulfillment happens. Because now you're no longer wishing on things that are outside of you. You're creating them within you so that all the alignments around you will unlock. Like little little keys in your mind. Just, just unlocking shit. Every day, you're given a chance. When you wake up to unlock your motherfucking dreams, okay? And when you go to sleep, that's where shit happens too. You're given a chance to unlock that shit in there from being simple symbolism to a real fucking ality. See, it's not about, oh, I wanna manifest this and manifest that. That's cool to manifest, you know, little shit here and there. But there's a higher purpose that each individual has come to serve through the will of the power that that flows through all of us. So think about that, please. I can't tell you what to do, though. All I can do is give you the information. That's why I created this channel, because my healing is your healing. No matter what, I'll never give up on y'all. Yeah, the world get darker every day. So fucking what? Who cares? We got a fire within us that'll pave the way for us to lead a new culture. A new fucking religion. Whatever the fuck you want to call those bullshit ass words. We paving the way for people to live a real life. Each one of us who watch this stream. So like I said many times before, I never give up on y'all. Because I know there's some within all of us that will bring us back together and take us to that home that we all so desire to be at. But it's going to take us having to work together. It's going to have to take us defeating the fucking bullshit division lines created by people in their fucking minds. See, it's a whole lot of atoms running around out here that need to be killed off. Same thing with Eve's. A whole lot of these fake emotions, too. I explained that already. All these emotions. But see, to defeat them is to lead them back to the one. Okay? Same thing with people. It goes for everything. People, thoughts, emotions, all this shit. Y'all want to y'all wanna help source in all of this shit? That's how we're going to have to end it. It's for us to take our thoughts back to the one. Take our emotions back to the one. Take our everything back to the one. Our life back to one. Our communities back to one. See, it got to start on a physical level. Then it got to start on the emotional level. Then it got to start on the psychological level. See, it just keeps going up. And the more it goes up, then it's on a soul level. A multidimensional level. Now we're just going back to simple alchemical concepts. What's what's the what's the concept that all these alchemical structures are built from? See, the more you study about this reality around us, the more you start to realize only reason shit un the only reason shit spiraled out of control is because it forgot who it really was. That's why I say in my principles, stay in the void. Because when we left the void is why we're here in pieces. I know. I know the mother wanted to experience life and experience self. But it's because of that experience that we're here even now. You notice on the belly of the oldest worship figurine in the planet was the thick ass woman. With the big ass titties. And she got a swirl on her stomach. 
I'm gonna just leave. I'm gonna leave the stream on that note. Y'all just watched another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I'm Lord Shuex. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you are watching this from outside of Twitch, please, please, please make a Twitch account. Subscribe to the channel. If you got Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to the channel a month for free at tier one, okay? And then we really get into some real shit. I'm going to just keep saying that because I want this channel to be exactly what y'all want it to be. So show me some love so I can show y'all some real love back too. I'm going to probably show the commercial again. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to show the commercial. It's just what it is. Because the album coming out. The album coming out. It's almost done. Shit, turn it up. Yeah, it's going down, y'all. Shoe Pro LP. The world famous Shoe Pro LP. It's coming, y'all. It's almost finished. I put my motherfucking heart and soul into it. And I start back mixing again tomorrow through Sunday. Listen, y'all. I need all your energy. Send me your energy. I want y'all to finish this album. Let's finish this motherfucking album together, y'all. So we can get this shit out and we can really make some bands off this motherfucker. You feel me? Okay? We gonna get some bands off this motherfucker too. Alright? Let's go Let's go for the half. Let's go for the half a milli mark this time. <laughs> Real shit. I'm trying to go beyond what the fuck I did all the other albums. And I put them out for free. So, hey, love y'all, much love to you and yours in the world. Lord Shoe X out this bitch. I'm out this bitch. Holla. Bronies everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom Where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed Can of brew from the fucking stove